Hey guys, uh, about to do some uh, soldering, uh, splicing and uh, some uh, new connectors into the wiring harness that's in the truck and I thought I'd just go over a couple of things that I find useful for uh, for any of the electrical work I do here. And it uh, starts off with this whole collection of stuff here. And uh, nothing beats a good soldering iron. That is still made in China but it is a Weller which is a, is a name brand and it's reasonably good I'd say. That's Weller as well, just a pencil uh, soldering iron with temperature control. That's more for fine, fine kind of work, but uh, I'll use it out here as well. Um, heat gun. Uh, when you're using heat shrink, I will always use a heat gun. I'll never use a match or a lighter. Uh, the reason is pretty simple. You have a lot better control of the uh, temperature on that, and you don't carbonize the wire. And just so you know, carbon... Uh, is conductive, so you're kind of defeating the purpose of heat shrinking something. Now here's a couple of uh, different sizes of heat shrink. This is a stuff I really like right here. It's a, they call it the weatherproof series, and they say right there, adhesive lining seals out moisture, and what that means is when you heat shrink it, there's actually a thin layer of hot glue basically on the inside of it, and it squeezes out at the ends, hopefully you can see that, and, uh, and seals it up really well. Now whenever I heat shrink something, I always do two layers. I do, like with this wire here, it had a nick in it, it wasn't actually soldered. Um, I used some of the 316s that uh, I had, and then I used some of this uh, double wall stuff, which is just a little under a quarter inch over top of that, and I overlapped that a little bit. And uh, guarantees that you're gonna have a, a good electrical, uh, uh, you know, protection there. Now, wire stripper. I like to use this one, but I do have one of these automatic ones. And how it works is it grips the wire and it pulls it apart. Problem is, if you don't buy a good one of these, they're not worth having. So, you know, the best bet is to go with one of these to strip wires. Uh, apart from that, uh, I think that, that covers it. You really, you know, the weatherproof heat shrink is the best stuff that, that I could recommend. Buy good solder, you know, obviously not acid core. Uh, for any kind of wiring you're doing. This is just rosin core. And this stuff is special stuff. This has uh, water soluble uh, uh, resin and it doesn't actually say on it, but that's what it was. And that was particularly handy when I was doing small electronics because instead of needing to use a solvent to take the, uh, the flux off of the board after you're done with it, you just would rinse it under water like a um, distilled water and uh, and it would clean the clean off the board there okay here's some other stuff that uh, that I uh, I've been meaning to try and it's called liquid electrical tape this is a permatex product but I imagine there are a hundred different companies that make this sort of stuff and the idea behind this one and I've never used it so I can't give you a, a, a valid you know rating on it but the thing that's good about this one is where you can't readily wrap a piece of electrical tape around a wire, let's say, or you couldn't get heat shrink on it or whatever the, the deal is. Um, you can paint this stuff on and it gives it a, a rubber, kind of a rubber coating on it. Now they recommend two, at least two coats with this stuff, but, uh, but uh, I like the idea of it. I'm going to try it for a different use. I'm actually going to use it to kind of rubber coat uh, some straps that I'm going to hang some wires from to kind of protect the uh, wires themselves from the uh, from the metal strap itself but uh, nevertheless uh, that is just my use of it this is actually supposed to be used as electrical tape in any case that's it I was gonna do a demo of uh, how, how I like to splice wires but it I wasn't having a lot of good luck with my soldering iron which is my own fault I haven't been doing anything recently did a quick uh, try of it but I'll just show you the, the key part of it there'll be a lot of people who will Give you a tutorial on how to uh, solder so I don't think that that part of it is important but the important part of it is is how I wrap the wires before I solder and I think it's it's equally important as I strip a fair bit of wire off I cross them over top of each other like that and then I just wrap it around that wire around the other piece of wire you know, roll it over so it's tight against there, and then do the same in the opposite direction on the other side of the wire. And I find it gives me a great and solid mechanical contact. Like that won't come apart even as it is. Now I don't recommend doing that. I always would say solder it, 
but I've heard it said that some people don't like the idea of solder in any kind of environment where there's a lot of vibration because what happens is that solder will freeze that piece into a solid block and uh, what happens is that you get cracking at the ends of the solder joint. But if you use heat shrink over top of it, that stabilizes it along the whole length of it well past that point because you're going to overlap by at least a you know, quarter inch or more. And, uh, and I think that it minimizes the chance of that happening. Anyways, that's the, all the tips I have for you guys right now. Hopefully they're helpful. So just as a follow on to the uh, li liquid electrical tape here, um, a couple hours ago I coated uh, the end of this, just painted on two coats of, uh, of this stuff and it actually looks like it gives a pretty good layer to this thing. I don't know if it, it's probably pretty expensive to use to as a non-stick coating for uh, tools and that and I probably could have gotten a better coat if I would have just dipped it in there but I didn't really want to contaminate it. But uh, And there is that tool dip stuff that would work just as well. You know, too, but that's just uh, another interesting application of it. It's not as thick as I would have thought it was when I used it. But uh, nevertheless, it looks like it's a good product. Might be worth checking out if it's not too expensive for you. I don't remember what it cost. <laughs> Later, guys.